Hello again, my beauties, and welcome to another live stream. How are you doing on this beautiful Sunday evening? How am I doing? I'm doing quite all right. I had a good weekend, quite a good weekend, if I might say so. And I'm excited for today's stream. Now, does anyone know? Where I got that quote, hello again my beauties, from. Because it is from a specific person. In a specific instance. And I wonder if anyone recognizes it. I just finished cleaning honey from the ce ceiling. Wait, what? What happened? Got scared to death. Apparently pots with raw honey from making meat can explode. Yes. And yes, it is Freddie Mercury. At, uh, I think it was July 12th, 1986. Second night at Wembley. Uh, if I'm correct. I, I know it was the second night at least. I'm a... I'm still a Queen fan, but... 
about five, no, like seven, eight years ago, I was a massive Queen fan. And, you know, watched all the documentaries, watched all the recorded concerts many, many times, especially Wembley, because it's still great. And it's, I still know, uh, like, a lot of those quotes. It's, it's like when Freddie Mercury starts his... Uh, on uh, Live Aid, the year before, 1985, they do a um, crazy little thing called Love. And then he stands there with the guitar and he says, um, This song here, this next song here is only for beautiful people. And then he says, you know, waits a little bit, waits a bit for a reaction. And then he says, It means all of you. This is just, it's just wonderful. Queen's still the best band ever. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with best. Because it's difficult to call, you know, a musical act the best. But definitely one of the best. For example, I think Nightwish is also, just their shows are absolutely thrilling, absolutely amazing. So, you know, calling something the best is difficult in stuff like music. It's the best rock vocalist ever. Definitely one of the best. The best, once again, it's still difficult. Because you got a lot of other great ones as well. Thank you for the seven months, quirky ganger. I appreciate that. How you doing? Tarja era, floor era, and net era. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with that. Actually, Tarja area would probably be my least favorite. Um... Floor era maybe my favorite, although I prefer the Annette albums. Um, weirdly enough, well, not weirdly enough, because they're great albums. But Life Annette is sort of objectively the weakest, because she wasn't really suited for Tarja songs. But she, her albums are great, and her edition of the Poet and the Pendulum live um, at Gampel Open Air in 2018. Yeah, 28, 2008, was absolutely amazing. I prefer that over the studio version and over Floor's version, actually. I think Annette is fantastic. And I'm no, I'm slightly less of a fan of the musical style with the gothic opera and stuff. The gothic metal and Tarja stuff. I, think, I still think it's great. And I love, for example, Dead Boy's poem. But not as much of a fan as... And that stuff or floor stuff. Um, yeah, so someone asked, by the way, if I caught the speed skating stuff. Yes, I did. Um, I'll talk about that a bit more in a second, of course, today as well. Um, but first, I'm gonna continue the park we were working on because we started on Wednesday um, with the dangerously dense diamond heights. Although, by the way, I forgot to upload the live stream on time. Then I didn't have time after that, so after that, so it went live five minutes ago instead of two days and five minutes ago, like it was supposed to. Um, but it's live on my second channel now. If you want to watch it back or if you missed it, and this one will be, you know, on Tuesday as usual. Can you catch us up? Well, there you go. You're caught up now. <laughs> this is what you built last live stream. It's uh, a start of a dangerously dense diamond height. And I think it's pretty good. It's not particularly dense quite yet. But, uh... Oh, that's a lag spike. There we go. But it'll, it'll, it'll get denser. This coaster is the bane of my existence, this black one. It was an absolute nightmare to fit together. <laughs> but eventually, I managed to uh, make it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, of course, I kept around uh, the, you know, the rides that you start out with. And we got rainbow shuttle loops. The green one is called red for obvious reasons. And there's one uh, twister coaster that goes through it, which is pretty nice. And yeah, we have a lot of other coasters, you know, fairly big Woody, we've got bobsleds, we've got, you know, all the good stuff. Are you going to turn this into the Forest Frontiers Park of you? Well, sorta. 
It's the plan. Do you have boat hires? I do not. Let's build one. Yeah, why not? Okay, so, um, yeah, the speed skating. Uh, today, Erin Jackson won the 500 meters, which is obviously amazing. And she skated the race of her life. Um, and I didn't think she could win because the Americans have been doing pretty terribly at skating. Where is there any space for this? Might be able to fit it here. Um, at skating at the Olympics so far. And we thought it might be the suits that were terrible. Because they seem to not fit very tightly. But Aaron Jackson just did fantastic, so... It's probably not the suits then. Probably just the Americans are just out of shape. Well, Aaron Jackson obviously not. She's obviously very in shape. A Dutch person didn't win. No, we couldn't win. Yeah, well, Femke Cock maybe if she had a race of her life. But the others couldn't. Um, Utah Leerdam was the best, actually, with 5th uh, place. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Erin Jackson really deserved the win. And it was definitely the best 500 meter race of her life. Easily. Not the fastest time, but that's because she also skated on high altitude rinks. So you gotta sort of, you know, um, subtract some time from these times on low altitude rinks to compare them. How can you be the best if you were fifth place? I mean, Leerdam, Jutta Leerdam was the best Dutch skater in fifth place. Alright, there we have our boat hire. Erin Jackson. It it was re t really, truly a miracle, like a fairy tale in how Erin Jackson has won. Because um, five years ago, she stood on the ice for the very first time in Dronten, which is in the Netherlands, actually. And then she qualified for the 2018 Olympics, but was like 28th or something like that. 24th. Definitely uh, outside of the top 20, so not particularly great. And then she really, you know, especially got great on World Top this season. And won a couple of World Cup uh, races and stuff. But then she had a big slip in the American qualifier and she did not qualify. Uh, for the 500 meters, even though she was America's, still is obviously, best 500 meter skater. So Brittany Bow, who did qualify... Um, Said, alright, you know, you can just have my spot. She gave her spot to Erin Jackson. And now Erin Jackson won. That's just amazing. I love the Olympics. With China's diving record this past summer, bobsledding, all the fun seeing the world's best athletes. I don't really watch the Olympics, actually, outside of speed skating. I mean, the short track, obviously, a bit, because it's sort of still speed skating. I did speed skating, but, I, you know, I watch a long track speed skating. The thing is, actually, that Brittany Bow still got to race her 500 because of um, someone else who didn't skate uh, from a different country. But if she hadn't uh, given Erin Jackson her spot, Erin Jackson would not have been to the Olympics. Um... Because the 500 is her only distance. So she would not have been able to take up the empty spot. That was uh, now left over. So the next pair would... Uh, the next backup, standby, whatever the word is... Uh, would take that spot. Which would probably be a different country. Speaking of skating. Were there any skateboarding in the Olympics this year? Well, no. Because that would definitely be Summer Olympics. Not Winter. I don't know if it's actually in the Olympics, skateboarding now, but it's Winter Olympics currently. Now, there was also a big thing in um, the 500 meters men yesterday. Because there were two races, especially the last one, where there was a false start apparently. But there really wasn't. And... There is a theory that China uh, made the starter um, just uh, deliberately have the last race, which were um, 
you know, people could get the title, have a false start. Just so that they wouldn't be uh, on their best, at their best. Because the winner, eventually, was Chinese. And not that he didn't deserve to win, because he was the best all year, so he did deserve to win, but still. It's a little dubious, the way it went. Um, drown a guest of your choice. I actually want you to pop a balloon of a very happy person. Can I pop balloons? I don't, I can't. That's not a thing you can do. Unless I dr drown a very happy person and pop their balloon. Let's drown guest 5, the oldest in the park. Now you know what, let's not do that. Let's keep guest 5 around. Let's rename him and you can't drown guest 5 anymore. We'll call him Marcel Vos. The, I don't know, 35th. Let's drown. This guy's quite happy. Does he have a balloon? He does. Hang on, where's his balloon? That's weird. Alright, this one. It's also very happy. That didn't work. This guy, does he have a balloon? He does. Good. And there we go. I need to kill the yellow balloon. Bam! Alright. How about we add a coaster? Is your money on the Bengals of the Rams? I have no idea what that's about. So, neither? Neither, noder, noder, I don't know. Ooh, that's called a classic mini coaster. His money is on Ajax. I don't watch football. Either the European or the American kind. I thought Ajax was cancelled. No? I think it has to do with Handag. I was like, the World Series, which... Or, no, no, wait, that's baseball, right? I don't know, it's all American stuff that I don't understand. <laughs> oh, the Superb Owl starts in a couple of hours. I didn't know. How superb is this owl? I, yeah, I really couldn't give a damn, to be honest. I mean, I'm Dutch. I I don't follow the Super Bowl. I really don't care much about sports except speed skating. And especially an American-only sport. I mean, why would I? I mean, not that I think the sport is terrible, it's just that I don't care about it. Uh, let's increase the chain lift speed. I've learned so much about short track speed skating penalties this year than at the other uh, Olympics. Yeah, there's a lot of was a lot of controversy around a few penalties. I already did know a bit about it because I do follow short track sometimes a little bit. But I still learned some new stuff. Alright, this will be my mini coaster. Classic mini coaster actually. Is field hockey in the Olympics? Yes, the Netherlands is actually very good at it. Um, but not in the Winter Olympics, obviously. It's in the summer. Which we just call hockey in the Netherlands. It's the ice hockey that gets the special name. Because it's different. We are actually terrible at ice hockey. 
think there are like only a few ice hockey clubs in the Netherlands. Netherlands are very good in quite a lot of sports actually. Like not all of them of course. I think something like basketball I don't think we're very good at. Not that I know it anyway. Let's see. Are we still researching rides? Oh, we are, but none of the three best categories. That's fine, though. We'll see what we unlock over time. Maybe I should build more um, cash machines. Laterals in the final turn. Now nah, we're fine. There are only two, five, eight. And I'm not even sure it's that turn that's the problem. No, it's not really a problem, but that turn is the highest. I'm not sure. Is that the reason, maybe, that I only have 120 viewers at the moment? The Superb Owl. Because um, I'm used to having like 160, 170 at this time in the stream. And I was wondering why it was a bit lower than usual. Doesn't start for another four hours. Hmm. Maybe it's coincidence then. I don't know. Bear in mind, only 2 p.m. in the U.S. Yeah, but I always stream at the same time, so... That doesn't really make a difference. Fun fact, I updated OpenRCT2 about not playing for a month or so. Freaked out that a bunch of my parks were gone. Took me a day to realize I downloaded an official release, not the development build. <laughs> nice. Slower stream to start. What do you mean? It has been this low in a time in stream before. Yeah. Maybe I'm just... Maybe it's usually this low and I just think it's higher. Maybe I just think I'm better than I actually am. I don't know. I don't particularly care. I just noticed. I would care if at this time I had like 40 viewers. Because that would be like insanely few. No, oh, thank you for the gifted subs line. Maybe some gifted subs will attract more viewers. Maybe, although, how do you actually, like, how do you actually discover someone on Twitch? Because the way I discover people on Twitch is I just search for Roller Coaster Tycoon. But there's not really, like, a recommended Twitch channel thing, is there? Let's see. Where exactly is the park boundary? Okay, we can still go there. Oh, there is recommendations. I didn't know. Thank you for the 200 pits for the 3. I streamed RCT a few days ago and got like 5 people who would never been to my stream and I've streamed for ages. Oh, ah, it's interesting. Oh yeah, YouTube obviously because, you know, I'm primarily a YouTuber, not a Twitch streamer. That's where I get my audience from. Will this be too fast? I don't think it will. It will. Alright, let's bank that baby. Do you play OTTD? No, I do not. Ooh, that's a big half loop, baby. Will it make it? No, it won't. Boom. Whoops. Apologies. Uh, let's make it a small half loop then. Yeah, why not? And then a corkscrew. Hell yeah. What's this element called? I forgot, but I like the element. Either way around. By the way, I hope you all enjoyed uh, Thursday's video. With the 10 annoying things. It's a bit more, it's a bit of a different style of video than I usually do, but I enjoyed making it. Thursday's video was fun. Yeah, it was. I enjoyed getting, getting angry at stuff. 
Well, it's fake angry, but still. Yay, Natty Boy has a new video that answers what inversion that is. That doesn't help me at the moment, though. <laughs> is the ghost card thing different to the testing? It doesn't actually test it, but it shows it what the train would do. Well, an empty train at least. So if it doesn't make it, you can know ahead of time. Hang on. Wait a minute. This is wrong. Why do I have access to inline twists? I shouldn't have access to inline twists on this ride. Is that a new open RCT thing? There are sprites for it, because um, Flying Coaster has them. That's... I also still have the barrel rolls. Which are noticeably different. You can actually really... Ooh, how about this? This is so wrong. Start off with a twist, end with a barrel roll. Although, you do notice... That, um... You, I started at 39 meters. And it ends at, at, at 37. Because the middle of a barrel roll is slightly higher than the end. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, right. Park boundaries. Ooh, and if we then again do the same... Uh, let's actually make that smooth. It's like, like... Like, find the one that's the old one out. Ooh, we can actually do... Hang on, can we just... LOL! <laughs> that's a hell of a coaster. I didn't try... I, I didn't try to do it, but I saw the opportunity and... It works. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love that. Now let's hope that the station brakes don't fail. Or well, it could be slightly dangerous. Ooh, this is a good color combination. Really good. Yeah, this is... I like this. Where did you find Marcel's stream? Hang on, why can't I click on... Oh, there we go. Rate YouTube channel searching on Twitch. It's gonna be primarily YouTube channel. Like a few people not, but... Let's see, Drown Guest 3816. Well, let's see if they're still in the park. Oh. Need to be on page one. Thirty-eight, sixteen. They are on log flume one. That's yeah. That's the one I built myself. That's not Snake River Falls, obviously. Getting a strong nineteen nineties vibe. Well, this game was released in two thousand and two. So it's not entirely the right uh, decade. Although RST1 was obviously 1999, but that would still mostly be a 2000s vibe. Oh, the color scheme. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. I think that connects. Yeah, that does connect. All right. Six eight two six four three two nine eight. Pretty good coaster. All right, you're done with the log flume. Time to drown. Ha 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 ha. Bye bye, with your silver balloon. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't drown guests on the log flume. Imagine that. Just you suddenly get a message. Four guests have drowned in an accident on Log Flume 1. Old school Taco Bell color scheme. Well, I've never been to a Taco Bell. Hello, Marshall. Hyped to be catching you live for the first time. Love your YouTube channels. Both of them. Well, thank you. Good to have you here. Let's see. 
what shall we build now? Ooh, let's build a chairlift. Just because we don't have one yet. There's still plenty of room in this park for a lot of stuff. Let's see, I want to be able to connect the path. So we need one higher. There's a lot of those American style fast food restaurants that I've never been to. I've been to Burger King, I've been to McDonald's and uh, I've been to Subway and I think that's about it. I've never been to a Taco Bell, I've never been to a KFC, I've never been to anything like Chipotle, I don't even know if we have that here. 97% is from YouTube, well that makes sense. My stepsister works in the KFC. She's done for a while now. But yeah, I've never been to one. I know where one is in Groningen, but two even. Never saw the need to go to one. Yesterday I uh, went out for dinner with some friends at... Uh, I think it was called Yasumi. It's a like, Japanese style restaurant where you order um, where you order a lot of small things every round. And if like you can order up to five things every round, and they're mostly sushi, but I don't like sushi, so I kept to the fried stuff uh, or grilled or fried stuff, which is pretty good as well. It was really nice. I had a good time. I haven't seen quite a few of those friends in a while. Let's make this... Oh, hang on. Wrong coaster. That's not even a coaster. <laughs> um, I think we need to decrease the minimum waiting time. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Ah, there we go. That's a better spacing. I've already opened it, but there's not even an entrance on the other side. Yeah, lots of small bites. It was actually lovely. We also just hung out for a bit. We went pooling. Um, which I'm not particularly great at, although I did have quite a few nice shots. And all the way this way. Don't forget to do no wait. I've already done that. It's already on that. You can see the difference. Hang on. How did they catch up? They're not supposed to catch up. Did it just... This post two at a time the first time. I know there's a glitch that sometimes makes that happen. Alright, and this thing is operational. Did you wear swimming shorts of a Spiegel? Uh, neither, I just wore normal clothes. We actually did have to do that for our swimming lessons. To get um, our C diploma. C certificate. Uh, which is the third one, you start with A then B. Almost all kids get A and B in the Netherlands. And then quite a few get C as well, which I got. And you had to swim with clothes on, you know. Not just a t-shirt, but also, you know, pants, jacket, shoes. The, the whole load. Because, um, you know, if you can do that, it makes you a better and, well, safer swimmer. Oh, it's even for B? I didn't know. Maybe I, just, I probably just misremembered then. Anyway, you, you have to do that. Let's see the pole. I mean, the best one isn't in here. Ovaltjes. Which is little ovals. That's, def that's the best one. I've... Yeah, how many of these do I know? None. I have no idea what, e what either of those four is. Any of those four. Oh, ovalages aren't hard? What is hard salty licorice then? I wouldn't even know what it is then. 
Thank you for the two months. Ang Dato. I appreciate that. Okay, let's actually swap these around. It's much better. Alright. There's a vid on YouTube about the man who got really sick from eating a whole kilo of licorice in one sitting. I mean, yeah, but you can also die if you drink too much water in one sitting. That, that, that's just dumb. Alright, connecting this is difficult, but there we go. That's a hell of a janky queue line. But it fits. You shouldn't eat an entire kilo of anything in one city. There are probably things where eating an entire kilo is fine. Like, I think if you eat a kilo of rice, you'll be fine. Ooh, it's immediately quite popular. Nice. My mum actually ended up getting heart problems from eating way too much licorice. I mean, then you have to eat like way too much for a prolonged period of time. I mean, that's impressive if anything. <laughs> Let's see, can we fit? Yeah, we can fit that there. Oh, thank you for the sub. Llama Assault. Yeah, one kilograms of liquid is generally fine, obviously. If I just drink a liter of water, it's perfectly fine. I mean, I've drank a liter of water in a very short time before. There's nothing wrong with that. If you go to 10 liters, then it starts to be a little bit dangerous. A liter of vodka is perfectly fine. It is if you're Russian. Or like a Finnish or Ukrainian or insert drinking country here. Nice big orange pole pointing to the sky. Ooh, the umbrellas are 20 bucks. So I think we might be uh, on the cusp of making a lot of money. Although actually probably less because I think the extra money we make for um, from the umbrellas is actually less than the money we lose because guests aren't going on coasters. But let's see, yeah, we're making a lot of money from the umbrellas at the moment. Let's see how much it'll be. Maybe like 6k or so. Uh, it's already back to uh, sunny. It's not going to last for a very long time. Well, that's quite typical, at least of thunder in the Netherlands. Usually when you got like really heavy rain with heavy thunders, it usually doesn't last very long. Do we have ads running? Hang on, how do we still have 12 week ads? Oh yeah, I did never ending marketing campaigns. Because I'm too lazy to renew them myself and we have the money anyway. I think 10 liters of water is more than a little bit dangerous. It'll kill you for sure. I'm not so necessarily... Might not always, but it's definitely dangerous. Oh, we're already on 6k. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, we've lost much more from guests not riding right. So it's not profitable in the end. But it's still a little bit of an... You know, it's better than not making anything from umbrellas in the rain. Let's see. If we raise this one, we can connect the exit there. Perfect. Ten liters is twenty-two lups of water. Yes, I found the lup to be quite a weird unit because it's it's difficult in converting to lups because um, there's roughly two in a kilo, but it's slightly more. 
So when you have 20 kilos, you know it's about 40 loops, but then a little bit more, and then you don't know exactly, and you can't really do it off the top of your head. What's your poison of choice? Alcohol? Uh, none. I think... Well, actually, I did drink a few days ago, because... Well, wine, I would say, then. Um... I haven't drank in my own home for probably about f four years, five years, four years, I think. Um, I've I've drank, you know, at my parents' place, you know, they'll, they'll have a glass of wine at dinner and I'll have fun. I, you know, I like wine. But... I don't really drink. You know, and whenever we go out, I never drink. I always have apple juice. I really like apple juice. Um, but it's funny, because we went out, we, we went out uh, yesterday. So I had apple juice twice, and then we had dinner. And um, the waiter was asking me what we wanted to drink. And so one of my friends had caught on. He was like, oh, I think Marshall wants apple juice. And I'm like, psych! Gonna go for orange juice this time. I know, spectacular tale was told by Marcel Voss. He didn't take apple juice, no, he took orange juice. I live such an exciting life. <laughs> orange juice during dinner. Yeah, in restaurants, I, I always take all orange juice at the start, it's pretty damn good. Some people are over six apostrophe two quotation mark tall, you know. I know, I'm not. I'm only five apostrophe eleven quotation mark, roughly. <laughs> Let's see. What shall we build? How about... How about... Looping coaster. Where shall we build it? There's still quite a lot of space here. Let's build it here and let's build a path towards it. Yeah, I know. I'm out of control. I'm absolutely crazy. Well, most people live kind of a... You know, especially because I live... I live? <laughs> I was going to say I live twice a week. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I stream twice a week. Fire all my staff. Uh, let me take out the altar clicker for that. I think I have quite a few of uh, those. Yeah, 200 Hendemen. Oh, whoops, that's more. Uh, there we go, let's fire them all. And there you go. Now, I stream twice a week, and most people actually live a very boring life. Um, if you stream twice a week, like... What's happened in the last three or four days? Most of the time, it's going to be... Well, I went to work. Or, in my case, you know, I worked on YouTube videos. Which, most of that is just editing. Which is fun, but it's not an exciting story. Um, or, it's, you know... I went out for dinner and I had orange juice instead of the expected apple juice. That's the stuff most people come with. And every now and then you'll have an exciting story about a really cool thing you did. But most of the time, that's not the case if you stream that often. <laughs> and those storytellers who have like, every few days they make a YouTube video about the new crazy thing they did. Yeah, I kind of doubt that. What's the taters of the colorful twisters? Did I mess them up? Yeah, it was not twisters, it's loopings. But purple is still fine. Blue is called orange. Red is called... No, green is called red. Yellow is fine. Orange is called yellow. And red is called green. So, orange... No, yellow and purple are still fine. By the way, I like living a boring life. I don't... And it's not that I find my life boring, 
that's not at all. It's that I don't want to live like a very exciting life where every day a new exciting thing happens. I like my days to be nice and calm. Uh, let's do that. Ooh, let's go in the ground. Yeah, it's peaceful to have a boring life. Although it's not boring at all. Because a lot of the things that I do... Um, you know, be it speed skating statistics a lot at the moment. Because Olympics and stuff. Um, being and making YouTube videos. I like doing that. I don't think it's boring. But yeah, I don't need to go out every weekend... To have some crazy hike or whatever that, you know, some people like to apparently do. Tom Syndicate pre-pandemic vlogged and then at random would jump a plane to Abu Dhabi and next week at random fly to America to mess with his gamer friends. Yeah, I could never ever do that. I would get tired of that so, so quickly. Do you feel like you're missing out on something? No. Absolutely not. I mean, of course, it would be fun to go to, you know, vacations a lot of the time to cool places. Because seeing cool places is cool. But I also know that that would wear me out. And do you feel like you're missing out? It's not FOMO. It's not fear of missing out. Obviously, I know I am missing out. Everyone is missing out on a lot of cool stuff they could be doing, but you either don't have the time or energy for that. So I don't feel like I'm missing out. Name the park. Alright, go ahead. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a little drink. Water, not alcohol. I've been asked why I like living in my small town, Canada, even though it's so boring. And my answer is that's the point. Yeah, exactly. I barely ever go to uh, the city center of Groningen. Um, Apple Juicington, all right. So far, I've been in the city center this year um, in one and a half months, twice. Um... And it's about a 10 minute bike ride. So it's not far away or anything. But once it was because. Um, it's about a midpoint between me and a friend. Um, and we decided to meet up there. To have a nice uh, morning walk. And once yesterday. To meet up with friends. Um, and. Um, uh, to go do some stuff. Have fun. Yeah I don't really. I mean, I get out of the house every day. But I don't go out a lot. I don't have any need to. The only thing that's very useful about living in the city for me... Is mostly that... Um, there's good public transport links. And that would be a problem if I would live in something like small town Canada. Or well, if I live in Canada. Because basically everywhere in Canada is terrible public transportation. That's probably not entirely true. Maybe I've watched too much Not Just Bikes. I'd love to see a bit of Marshall jumping for joy after getting off Goliath in Libya, Holland. Maybe I'll do that sometimes eventually. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, let's see if we can connect some path around here. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, there's the there's the railway that's in the way. Okay, that works. We just follow the railway. Yeah, that works. Perfect. Ah. Dang it, there we go. What is watching not just bikes as someone in the Netherlands? Well, I actually learn a lot about how infrastructure in my country works. Um, traffic calming is not something I knew about. But it is something that's everywhere. 
And once you know about it, you start noticing it. Okay, this entrance is terrible. I'm going to continue this path here. Um, and it's like that with a lot of stuff. And you start to appreciate it as well. I really start to appreciate how good our infrastructure is. And public transport. And basically all, all of that stuff. Yeah, traffic calming is um, stuff like um, speed humps. Or narrow roads. Or rough road surfaces. All measures that make people drive slower. Without, act without just posting a slower... Um, Without just posting a slow, slower speed limit. You hate traffic calming yet, uh, Dan. No, you don't. You love it. Um, it may be frustrating at the times that you're in there in a car. But it makes it a lot safer whenever you're out of a car. And also, because it's traffic calmed and a bit more annoying to drive. Fewer people drive, which means that if you do drive, there's less traffic. So it's better for everyone. Alright, what stats does this coaster have? Ooh, excessive negative vertical G's. I like that. Yeah, pretty decent stats. Pretty normal uh, thing. Oh, I do drive. I don't drive very often, cool man, but I do drive. I don't have a car, um, but I've had my driver's license for... A bit more, a bit over six years now. That was six years and three months. I passed my test on October 27th, 2014. You drive 600 kilometers a week. Um, yeah, I don't. On average, I'd only drive a few per week. Probably. Let's see. What coaster shall we build now? I've kind of filled up this area now, so at least it's not empty. The park's slowly getting fuller and fuller. Um, let's build... Yeah, why not? Let's build a woody. I must say I quite like driving. It's a nice activity. But then again, we have the best roads in the world. So, driving on them is an absolute pleasure. Also, where I live, in the north, there's not a lot of traffic. I wouldn't really want to drive, like, in the Randstad every day. Which is, like, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Utrecht, stuff like that. The big cities. Utrecht is the worst. Is it? I wouldn't know. Come to Diamond Heights and ride a woody. A massive woody. It's a black woody. <laughs> um, those double lane roundabouts with traffic lights halfway are terrible. Those are often not double lane. They are often like triple or quadruple lane. Color ride of your choice. Go ahead. I need staff, do I? I think I do, yeah, 11 minutes ago. I can rehire them. Let's hire a lot of handlemen. 405 of them. A, lo a lot of entertainers as well. Let's force the guests to be happy. I can go on for a while. Alright, 1311. I think that's plenty. Let's see, Lurker RCT. Did you give your colors and the right yet? Uh, oh, there you go. Can you paint a new wooden coast with white supports, brown track and red railings? Sure. There you go. 
continue building it. There's vandalism. Yeah, probably a lot. We're also losing guests. We've lost... Qu I don't know how much actually we were on. We can't see in this graph. Um, but yeah, we're losing guests. How much vandalisms do we have? We have a lot of vandalisms. This is vandalism town, baby. <laughs> Let's fix that. There we go. A lot of these bins are filled up, but they'll be emptied by the handyman. You can't currently do fire stuff because it's uh, disabled. Because there's a cooldown. There's a reason for that. Let's go the other way. Force it to be a bit longer. Drown a vandal. I'm not sure if we have any. Never mind. There's one. I thought that maybe they're already all gone because of the entertainers and stuff, but nope, that was a vandal. Can you um, name one handyman Cosmo? So you have Cosmo and Vandalism. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, he'll be fired the next time someone redeems that, but still. You missed it being redeemed. You mean the drowning get the, the fire staff? Why do you think I had no staff? Name the right of your choice. Okay. Name the pirate ship Bismarck. There's no the pirate ship. But I presume you mean this one, because it's in the screen at the moment, in view. Bismarck, I know that's the capital of one of the US states. Either North or South Dakota, I believe. Probably South. Or North. <laughs> it's also some German uh, general stuff thing. Um, like, wasn't it like the first Kaiser of Germany or whatever? Prussia or something like that. But probably also a ship, considering it was a pirate ship named Bismarck. And it was named, obviously, then after um, the leader, Bismarck. Alright. Nice medium sized wooden coaster. Let's connect this up. It's a great Sabaton song. I have a friend who's a fan of Sabaton. I'm not really. But I don't dislike the music, I just don't listen to it really. Alright, let's start actually with the second level of path. I'm gonna do the en entrance later, but I'm gonna connect this down. And then I'm gonna uh, connect it somewhere there as well. Okay, that doesn't fit. Hey, you know what? Let's actually have this go over there. Like that. And we'll also make it go this way. You're currently building a 1 in 700 model of the Bismarck. Oh. You know who else is a model? Is it a model builder in English? Or you build models of things? My stepdad. And he's really particularly good at it. He has built a lot of boats, actually, as well. Um, also plenty of other stuff. Oh, hang on, we're below the observation tower. I didn't realize that. Oh, this fits perfectly. What kind of metal are you into? 
mostly uh, symphonic metal, um, trash metal, you know, like Metallica. Um, uh, yeah, mostly symphonic. But, you know, power metal can do fine as well. Oh, I actually do need an entrance. I almost forgot the entrance path this time. Uh, let's see, well, I like folk metal. The Twister Coaster looks sick. Oh, thank you. I assume you mean the orange and black and white one. It's quite dangerous considering how fast it uh, comes into the station, but uh, <laughs> that was quite a bump. Metal calms me down somehow. It really depends on the song. A song like um, The Forest That Weeps by Winterson can. It's kind of calming. As is loneliness, although loneliness can also make you feel, well, you know, lonely. But some songs just make me filled with energy. Well, it is like weak fantasy. Which is just a p absolute powerhouse of a song. After getting all the aggression out, you're left with calm. It's not about the aggression for me. It's not like I got my aggression out of metal. But more energy. I'm not, not as calm. Because when I get that energy out, my heartbeat is definitely not calm. Do we already, I think we already have dark blue balloons somewhere. Although, do I see any around? Yeah, we already have dark blue balloons. Let's do salmon pink. Why not? I play in a death metal band and our fans are the most relaxed people on the planet. Oh yeah, metal fans are... I have a pretty good reputation within like... Not within necessarily the wider world, but I think metal fans are pretty chill generally. Let's build a path through the mountain. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Through the mountain. Secret, secret, secret tunnel. It's not true that we have no anger. Especially black metal is a bit, well, weird and sometimes a bit too angry for my taste. But I might be misjudging black metal there. I think I just accidentally dropped someone into the void, but uh, that's fine. And there we go, that's connected. There's a lot of variety in black metal. Oh, there probably is. But I don't know much about it. Well, it's not... I didn't do it on purpose, Karen Drakis, but I also didn't care that it happened. It's sort of like negligence, I suppose. I went to a punk metal festival a couple of years ago. I totally wasted punk, stepped over our bench and pumped it. He apologized profusely and insisted um, to buy the both of us on the bench a drink. <laughs> That's nice. I've only been to a metal festival once. I've been to shows several times, but a festival only once. Uh, and it was pretty cool. You know, I was at the edge of a mosh pit. And uh, frankly, you know, I fell over and someone just helped me up and, you know, continued moshing. Have you heard of Cradle of Filth? I think I've heard of it, but... I don't, I don't know how it goes. I'll probably not listen to it. What's the soft gas cap? It's currently 4800. If you're asking what it is, because you're seeing those notifications, it's the number of guests that can... that your park is limited to. You can't get more than that, sort of. It is that if, you're, if you have more than that number of guests, the natural guest spawning 
gets it goes like down by a factor of four or something like that. Um, but guests from ad and we are constantly running ads are unaffected by that at all. Oh, that you can't read notifications. Yeah, they're fairly small. Are you into Opeth at all? Uh, no, I'm not. It's a little wild mouse. I actually... What's been typical of me pretty much my entire life is that I listen to only a very small selection of artists, but quite religiously. Like, I don't listen to a lot of different pop artists, but the one I do listen to, I listen to a lot. Same goes with metal. Um, so I listen to a lot of Nightwish um, and Winter Sun. And I listen to a lot of Queen and a lot of Billie Eilish. Um, but not a lot of different artists. Have you heard of Amarantha? Yes, I have. Don't really know much about them, no? Billie Eilish is great. Yes, she is. It's always funny when you have um, something like Eternal Darkness from Winter Sun followed up by something like um, I Don't Want to Be You Anymore from Billie Eilish, which is <laughs> like a very quiet song. And then, you know, and Eternal Darkness is very aggressive and very long as well 13 minutes, 14 minutes. And then you get something like, um, I don't know, uh, From Afar, which is by NC Ferrum, which is not a crazy, aggressive banger. Yeah, mixed genre plays are the best. I do actually sort of pride myself that I do a lot of different music recently, last like last couple of years. Not that I'm proud of that fact, but compared to what I used to listen to couple of like before that was only metal and I thought uh, that you know I had the kind of standard metal hat mindset that I listen to metal because it's heavy and the heavier the better and I shouldn't listen to anything else because it's not metal it's not cool and I'm kind of proud that I'm now kind of past that and I'm like yeah whatever music is good I listen to Nightfish I only know one song end of all hope that is a good song, though. So yeah, if any of you are listening to only one genre of music, I would advise just, you know, trying out a few different things. And if you think you might not like pop or hip-hop or whatever at all, just give it a go sometimes. You never know if you'll like it. Doesn't the ground get polluted if you listen to too much heavy metal? If I only listen to it, if I don't put it into the ground. Oh, the Bobstay coaster just crashed. Cool. I don't go by genre and people ask me what kind of music I like to. I say good music. I still go by genre. I still say mostly metal because that's still true. Um, let's get rid of the rides because I can't see. Oh, that's where I am. Oh, and there's arachnophobia in the way. Can I disconnect that like that? No, that's also arachnophobia in the way. Does that work? No, that's... Ah, I'm... Alright, let's just do that, man. I think I've just drowned like 10 entertainers. Okay, that also doesn't work. Does this work? No! Damn it! <laughs> it all doesn't work. What if we go down earlier? Stupid arachnophobia. Okay, you know what? I just need... Cutaway view. 
Ah, that's... That's the problem. Arachnophobia is all over the place there. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's gonna go that way. Just gonna do that. And like that. Perfect. Hey, Miss Tabby, how you doing? I know of the name, but haven't heard a lot of music from him. Wait, who? Aphex Twin. I don't know of that artist. Let's see. Can I connect this to somewhere there? What if I go over the big woody? No? Oh, actually, yes, but it's out of range of the cutaway view. I think this is connected. Yes, it is. Finally. I only drowned like... Uh... Uh... Like 30 people, including staff. After the last stream I watched, my impression of Marshall is a big, friendly guy that's super nice and gentle, despite being the strongest one in his so social circle. You're not entirely wrong. I don't think I'm the strongest one, though. Um, I have a friend who's really into, you know, exercise and all that kind of stuff. I think he's stronger than I am. Although, I can do 30 push-ups. And he said he would not be able to do that with 50 kilos on his back. To equal my weight. So, you never know. All of these drownings backs up your claim of dangerously dense. Yes. It is so dense that I have problems with connecting the path, which makes it dangerous. So it is very dangerously dense. Marshall can beat up all of his friends. Oh, I probably couldn't. One of the reasons I couldn't is because I absolutely hate fighting. Even the idea of it. How did you enjoy the speed skating today? I enjoyed it a lot. There were some really good ratings. Your park rating is taking a dive. Maybe it's because I drowned a lot of guests. Um, and especially Mio Takagi surprised big time. I mean, Aaron Jackson as well, but she was at least a title candidate. Which Mio Takagi wasn't a podium candidate at all, which is, she still took second. Fire all my staff. Of course. It's going to make things slightly worse. Oh, hang on. Damn it, that's more again. Hang on, well, hello, Blitz TCG. How did Rintje Ritsma do today? He did alright, actually. He is one of the analysts. And... He, you know, he's done worse. In that. Although... He is usually pretty terrible doing the women's 500 meters because he's a long track speed skater and a man and he doesn't just know a lot about it but they also had two women who were both 500 meter uh, specialists. So they were pretty good at, uh, at it. It was fine. Pick a coast type for me to build. Okay, it does have to be one that I have access to, of course. So, uh... One of these. Swing suspended coast. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, mate. How many channel points do I have to spend to you to have you rehire Cosmo? There's not a thing for that. So maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. If I, if I remember it, when I can rehire staff. These are all the coasts you can pick from. Oh, agoraphobia just crashed. It's cause... 
it's because there was a failure um, right when this train was almost in the station. So it partly sticks out of the station. And the other train crashed into it. Okay, so within a very short time, we had a lot of drownings. We had staff fired, which messes everything up. And we had a crash. Um, probably killing some people. Yeah, 24 people, a full train. It's not going particularly well, is it? The park rating is just doing awfully. Alright, an inverted coaster. I think uh, previously we had the bobsled coaster crash. You know, this very casually skipped over it. And I think like, almost no one said anything about it in the chat. I just said, oh, bobsled crashed. Cool. Restarted it and just went, <laughs> went on with my, with my day. <laughs> I wonder if we can get to zero park rating. <laughs> Remember one thing, no one will know about the guests who died if there won't be anyone in the park. I'd have to kill a lot of people for that for there to not be anyone in the park though. Make a sexy roller coaster. <laughs> How do you make a sexy roller coaster? I mean, I have seen NSFW stuff made in Roller Coaster Tycoon, so it's not impossible. But those weren't roller coasters, though. They were like, you know, stuff made out of scenery and stuff. Once you're done with making this park, I want to see what it looks like if you remove all the parts. Probably somewhat similar to if you remove all the pots in Overcrowded Forest Frontiers, which I think I did show in the video about it. Ah, dang it, claustrophobia is in the way. We have the best custom designed rides. Are you sure about that? One of them killed a few people this stream. Ah, we're on the edge of glory. No, no, no. Uh, we can't build the half loop. That's unfortunate. What we can do, though, is do a small half loop. An inline twist. Another half loop. Hang on. Why is the inverted coaster... Oh, that thing is my problem. Hang on. If we do that... Can we do that? Because we're not below the twist, the coaster at the moment. Yes, how about this for an element? In which city was heavy metal invented? It was not invented in a single city. It's a slow progress over time that slowly went from a rock some kind of movement got into metal but that's not per one particular band it, it goes slowly over time and at some point it classifies as heavy metal the answer is Birmingham is it like Black Sabbath or something Isn't the sleigh going to fly off the track here? What sleigh? If rock came before metal, is the next music genre going to be carbon fiber then? Um, I don't think that's how it works. Maybe diamond. And then we get like, folk diamond music. <laughs> Black diamond music. Symphonic diamond music. Let's see, can we make a vertical loop here still? How are you on this fine day? 
Did I have a lot of sun? No. That was... I think I might have been a little bit of sun today, but not a lot. Hang on, this is lower than the station. It doesn't look like that at all. How fast is it still going there? This seems like an extremely unsafe roller coaster. Who designed this? It's a terrible coaster design. Let's see how fast it goes still. Ah, it only reached 103 kilometers an hour. Ah, oh, 112 there. Oh, this is way too fast for those corkscrews. Have you heard of Susumu Hirasawa's music? No, I have not. Let's actually make the loop go the other way. Will it still make a corkscrew here? Let's see. Does it have enough speed for that? It does, quite easily. Let's make it even taller. Honestly, this is my worst coaster design in this entire park. Oh, it's just an S-Bend away. Okay, we have one more for our photo section. Cool. Oh yeah, this part, uh, our rating went to zero. I can hire staff again, by the way. Let's first put this thing in test mode. Oh, we don't have an exit and an entrance. And now let's hire a lot of staff. The rating isn't doing particularly well. I love that sound. Just the sound of staff getting high. It's just a good sound. Ooh, the rating instantly went up by like half. Great Marshall's computer. Now it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, we have a lot of quotes. We have a lot of quotes. 302. Yeah, this is where the lag starts when you have. 2,000 entertainers. How much staff did you have in your 20k peeps park? I don't know, like 2,000? Oh, we're a millionaire, by the way. Okay, how many vandalisms do we have? Do we have a lot of vandalisms again? Not as many, actually. Probably because... I hired rehired staff a little bit earlier. But yeah, we have quite a few uh quite a few entertainers. <laughs> Just look at this queue line alone. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen entertainers, sixteen entertainers in one queue line. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> More RCT lore. Unemployment must be terrible if you can easily hire 2k entertainers in a few minutes. It must be, yeah. Just, this is a very popular path, by the way. It's very overcrowded here, but look at all those entertainers. <laughs> this is wonderful. How many guests are complaining about overcrowding? 814, that's a lot. But it doesn't matter. They will get unhappier from the overcrowding, which usually lowers your park rating, but our entertainers are pumping happiness into the guests. Just pump, pump, pumping happiness into the guests so that the happiness will be artificially happy so our park rating doesn't decrease and we have no problems with overcrowding at all. <sighs> yeah, no problems with overcrowding. I mean, I made a video about that. <laughs> All right, how's this thing doing? Oh, 10.04 intensity. Can we lower that? Let's see, how about if we make the cars one shorter? 
Does that fix it? Let's make it two shorter, because then I think we... I will make them six, then we can have four trains. Maybe that'll give us less intensity. <laughs> Maybe the entertainers are pumping the guests, making them happy. That's... A different kind of pumping. <laughs> Okay, let's make another kind of path bridgey thingy imaging that we can potentially build off of later. Hang on, that went wrong. Now the hybrid chain thing doesn't work. Oh, you're right. Well, then we need to be at least seven, maybe longer. Does it work now? It does. Good. Hang on. What's in the way? Oh, that's the Piradi ship. Um, Drown guest 2045. Why? Why 2045? Twenty forty five is still in the park. Call the inverted coaster aces high. Okay. Why? Uh, by the way. It's only got more intense. How did that happen? Okay, how do I make this coaster less intense? How about if I just lower the top speed a bit? That should do it. Brakes are for weaklings. Ace is high as an Iron Maiden song. I didn't know that. Let's connect this to there. And there we go. And then let's connect this somewhere here. Um, how the hell am I going to connect this up? Ah, oh, there we go. And we're also going to go the other way. And connect it somewhere there. Ah, oh, damn it, the bot plays in the way. Then we'll just go this direction. Perfecto mundo! I downloaded RCT2 on stream, but it keeps crashing any tips. You just got to open RCT2. Open RCT2 doesn't need RCT2 vanilla itself to work. It's just it just needs the assets. Also, it keeps crashing, which is a bit weird because mine works fine, so it can work. I don't I don't know what the problem would be. Eh, ass ass, yeah, it's like an ass ass in, <laughs> which is someone that kills people. All right, is it good now? 10:02. That's still too intense mundo. What if we just remove that drop? And we just make this go like that. When we watch this stream, we revert back to the age we were in 2002. I mean, I would be... Five... 20 years ago. I don't think a 5 year old would be able to build a park like this and also talk in fluent English at the time. At the same time. Uh, 
you will be 12. I mean, a 12 year old could definitely build the park like this. That's very feasible. So many young'uns here. I feel like an old man. I mean, you are old compared to me, but you are still very young compared to others. I mean, you will be 12. That means you're 32 now. 20 years ago. So, 32 is still young. Still only like, probably like 35-40% into your life. Is it good enough now? I like the 6.67 positive G's. It's quite a lot. It probably kills people. Well, it hurts people and I like that. I see space, fill it up. Well, that's the idea, but I'm not going to hurry. I'm just going to take my time. But let's see what the stats on this are. Currently, it's mostly entertainers and a few handymen in the queue line. Can entertainers go on the right? They cannot. I think the only staff member in the Rollercoaster Tycoon series that can go on the right is um, the park inspector in the Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. It takes longer than usual to get the stats, for some reason. Now we can build some other right in the meantime. We have uh, 6,500 guests. Oh, there it's that. Our 972, good. 675 excitement, um, 723 nausea. Yeah, pretty good stats. Look at that park rating. That's a hell of a journey. I'm actually kind of shocked that Phil Bobsleigh doesn't fly off there. It, does, it doesn't go that fast. It goes only 43 and needs to go 50 to fly off. And since it's at the very start of the ride, a heavy load of guests doesn't make it go that much faster. Not only the fire sprees, because the first one here was a fire spree the second one which has two different uh dips throughs is a, f a drowning spree plus a fire spree plus a crash which killed 24 people let's do bench warmer there we go I love how all the pots that I built are immediately used a lot, which does show that it's quite overcrowded. Yeah, nothing particularly bad. You know, a few people died, but, you know, that's life, isn't it? It's just stuff that happens. You can't do much about it, you know. People die all the time. And if I help them, uh, you know, do it a little bit quicker, then, you know, so be it. This bench warm also work on destroyed bins and benches. Yes, it just goes over the entire park, which is why I pretty much have no vandalism. It's a little bit cheaty, but you know, whatever. Whatever. We are losing money again because it rains. A few people died. They'll live. <laughs> nice. Famous rollercoaster tycoon player cheats at the game. I wonder how big the upset would be and what kind of reactions I would get if I um, got some speedrun records. Because there is a very small speedrun community in rollercoaster tycoon 2. But it turned out that I used cheats or you know spliced them or at least you know got them in some kind of unfair way. Because it's a really small community, but I wonder how much of an effect that would have on my channel and my reputation. I'm not going to try it. But I do wonder. You'd get a Carl Jobs video, that's what you'd get. I, d I don't think so. Because the Rollercoaster Tycoon speedrunning community is way too small for that. There's like 
not even every category has a record, I think. That's how small it is. It also, of course, depends on how long it, it goes on for. You know, if I would use cheat, someone would be, hey, Marcel, this looks cheated. And I would be by, oh, I thought I could get away with it, but I can't. Yes, that's cheated. You know, if it goes over the span of like a week, then obviously Call of Jobs isn't going to make a video about it. So it depends on it. But in terms of what I could have been doing, you know, on my YouTube channel and other, like, I, have, I don't know, achievements or whatever, it's that I, there's no way for me to have been cheating on that. Because this is live and, you know... The only thing, I, I could have like a ghost writer and someone edit for me, I suppose. But that would make no sense. Because I'm also be able to do this stuff live. Also, for it to work, you would first need to get past the people to check the videos you submit. I mean, those are not any kind of experts. There, I know, I know the people who... Uh, who are the moderators on the speedruns. And they're, you know, they know a lot about the game and stuff. But I don't think there are any particular experts on, like, detecting video splicing and whatever. Why would they be? They're just people who set up the community. They're not, like, chosen for it. Have you ever tried using the OpenRC2 Twitch integration? I have. Maybe I should try starting it going again. Because it had some issues. Yeah, cheaters are usually really good at their game. Yeah, cheaters don't cheat to do the impossible, but they cheat to do the impossible sooner. No, it, it, what Carl Job said is like, cheaters don't cheat to get a better time. They cheat to get a good time faster. Something like that. But then again, it's not that I don't... It's not that my videos, my content is not a competition. It's me saying this is how this stuff works in the game, or me, you know, this is, you know, this is the cool thing I built. How would that work? Like, I did not build my longest coaster myself. I had a ghost builder. Because <laughs> that's the thing, that that's the only really, that's really the only possibility. Was your brother all along? I mean, that would make for a nice story. Let's connect it. I can see how an amazing builder would put you as a spokesperson. The thing is, there's not amazing builders. It's just some cool rides. You know, the longest coaster. It's mostly math, actually. Especially in the beginning, uh, where you were afraid of to talk in videos. I mean, I suppose that's tech that could technically work. But still, that will be a lot of effort to go through. Imagine if Dirk Link wasn't actually Dirk Link. That, that doesn't even make sense to say. Does the observation tower get different stats depending on how tall it is? Yes, it does. The taller, the higher the stats. Obviously. Let's see, where can I... That's a, that's a good... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, that won't work. No, this is not a good place. I wonder how much time it would take for Silverette to convince Marcel to play Park Attack now that it's out of early access. Silverette is welcome to try if he wants to. No, I don't like this place either. Let's build it there. I do not think Marcel Voss is doing this. And do not think he is. But if you got skills, you can change things in the game in the game code to make things happen if you want to. And increase the rate of things occurs, likelihood of getting positive modifiers, etc. 
that you will only see if analyzing game files. The thing is, I'm sharing my all my save files from my live streams. That's like being as transparent as possible. Yeah, you can adjust the stats in the console if you want to, but... How would I do that live and it not be noticed? I mean, you need to, like, open up the console and there, there's some command, like... Write... Stats... I don't know... Zero, which is the ID, and then something like, I don't know, 999, and then like 999. This is probably not the right command, but it would work something like that. Yeah, that's a nonsense command, a non command, but how would I do that live and not be noticed? That just. <laughs> that would be quite an achievement. There's like, I have a different screen running with the same park, and this is all the multiplayer server, and I'm doing it there. Yeah, there's no way this isn't live. Because I'm, I'm, I'm answering the chat and doing, you know, suggestions and stuff, so that doesn't work. Thank you, um, for the four months, El Claire. Or El Care, actually. Yeah, I am just good at the game. Now, the point isn't that people actually think I'm not doing it, the 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 point was more a thought experiment at how would it be possible for me to do cheating, you know, to cheat at what I do. And it, like, would it be possible that somehow this isn't me? It's more of a thought experiment, which I started. Cheat engine and cheating table exist. That's true, but I don't... Because stats are actually being constantly recalculated, so it doesn't really work. Because, you know, if you add more scenery, the stats do increase. Oh, you're asking me to drown a guest. Sorry. Um, drown guest 1138. All right, let's see if they're still alive. They are on Merigerant. And there they are. Pop their balloon. Ten people left the stream after hearing he wasn't actually defending himself against allegations of cheating. Yeah, that's just a coincidence. Or as I like to call it, a winky link. I've hired someone on Fiverr to play for you. You've hired someone on Fiverr. I wonder... <laughs> imagine if... Hang on. I was doing something. What was I doing? I was like building bath. No, I was trying to build a cinema. Which I hadn't done yet, I think. Um, would there be someone on Fiverr? Like, I can play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 for you. I would... Should I offer my services? Koinky Dink is from CatDog. Maybe, but that's not where I learned it from. But I might have learned it from some place that learned it from CatDog. I come up with a very small wooden wild mouse coaster. It's 7 times 5 or 6 times 5 design. There are place on Discord when I can put it for other opinions. Yes, there's a channel called Coaster... Hang on, what's it called? Let me check. I don't know. Oh yeah, Coaster Showcase. And then... In the showcase discussion channels, people will comment on it. And you can't, you're not allowed to chat in the coaster showcase channels to make sure that it, you know, stays relatively clean so that you can easily look up previous designs and stuff. Oh, fire, so fire all my stuff. Oh, yeah, I could have cheats on actually. Um, stuff like, you know, disable ride breakdowns. Well, actually, we did have a crash, so it pretty much rules that out. I have had cheats on by accident before, where I was recording, and then I forgot that I still had them on from recording. This takes a while to fire uh, how many, uh, however many entertainers we had. <laughs> by the time the five minutes are over, I'm not even done firing. <laughs> you pulled a dream with insane luck. 
Oh, you mean with accidentally cheating on? Yeah. I fully believe that Dream accidentally had his cheating on. I don't think he did it on purpose. There we go. But, you know, when it was found out that he accidentally was cheating on, he went about defending himself in entirely the wrong way. You know, that was a terrible mistake and he went about it in a kind of disingenuous way. But I think that's mostly just him panicking, him being 21 years old, him suddenly having 20 million subscribers basically in a year out of nowhere and not knowing how to deal with it. Like, can we blame him for that? I don't think we can, or we sh at least we shouldn't. Like, yeah, he, he went about, you know, going in his fame and, you know, with his new followers in the wrong ways, but that's life, you know? He's just a person. It's not his fault. Um, okay, connecting here isn't really working. Hang on, what if I... Yes. That'll work. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna... Do... That. There we go. Now I gotta help these poor guests. Where are you? Why did you walk under there? There's some guests still walking around there. Yeah, hashtag get on my lawn. Now I can't find the guests. Oh, there's one. I know there's still one guest somewhere, but maybe we'll find them. Maybe not. Maybe they'll... Walk out there for eternity on the grass. Or maybe they've already walked back onto the path somewhere here where the path is actually touching ground. I don't know. Yeah, and we never saw that guest again. Transparent path. Yeah, or I just don't bother. And let him let him live out live out his days in exile. Alright. I don't remember the exact issue with Dream, but the fact that after accusation he just didn't just triple check every single mod. And even though he shouldn't expect, SP is strange to me. I think it's just that he panicked. Handled the situation absolutely awfully. But, because it is also his reputation on the line, you know? And... Oh, heh <laughs> Lol. Because he suddenly had like 10, 15 or whatever he was, had a million subscribers. My problem with Dream is that he was childish about the whole thing. If he, wanted, if he wasn't, he'd be alright. Well, that's basically my point, is that yes, he was childish about it and went about it the wrong way, etc, etc. But he seems to have learned from it. And, um, you know, he handled it terribly, but he was 21 with sudden fame. So, what do you want? I mean, a bit of a man-child. Yeah, he's 22 now, or whatever. That's, that's the age to be a man-child. Let's not forget, he is barely not a teen anymore. He is three years younger than I am. And as opposed to people like Billie Eilish, who have, like, their family to support them publicly and, like, a whole team around her, Dream doesn't. He has friends, obviously, but it's very different if you're suddenly a YouTuber like that. It's, uh, you know, it's very hard. I think you're the five months, by the way, damn selfish. And uh, the wizard pick for the follow. Uh, 
Um, what shall we do with this guy? Right, let's do an inline twist. If you told me you could speedrun Minecraft like a week ago, our mind would have been blown again. I mean, it's not a classic speedrun game because it didn't really have an official ending, but you can beat the Ender Dragon and doing that as fast as possible. I mean, there's a host of different categories. Like, there's a there's a category for getting all the different colors, wool, colors of wool as fast as possible. You can make up anything you like. Like, in Roller Coaster Tycoon, you could have a category for getting a thousand guests as fast as possible. Or, um, like, starting, like, I don't know, building a coaster in Forest Frontiers in as little time as possible with at least ten excitement. Stuff like that. Yeah, speedrun, if there's a community agreed upon the rules that anything can be speedrun. Marshall Wall speedruns confirmed. Oh, I have a... At least I had a couple of records. In roller coaster tycoon scenarios, I don't know if st I don't know if I still do, but I probably still have at least one somewhere. But it's mostly because not a lot of other people bothered. You don't even need community agreed rules in the speedrun. You can you just do whatever and have a stopwatch on the side and damn your speedrunning. Yeah, ex exactly. That's true. Um, let's see. Kind of a little bit in a pickle. I can do this. What would be your personal speedrunning nightmare? I will be GTA San Andreas. Even though I love the game, I've completed it a bunch of times. Um... Mine will probably Minecraft. I don't have the skills for that. I don't want my to play Minecraft like that. I want to. I want to just have a good, relaxing time playing Minecraft. And it's in hard mode. You know, I can die. I you know die every now and then. But I don't lose my stuff. Most of the time, I haven't lost it actually in the current world. And I don't want it to play as fast as possible. It doesn't make it fun. Okay, I wonder if I can actually have an entrance and exit path here. And also the last turn might be dangerous, but we'll see. I've been getting into Age of Empires 2 speedruns. How do you speedrun it? You mean like the campaigns? Or like getting to castle age as fast as possible or something like that? Alright, let's see. I think the last turn will be a problem. That, yeah, no, that's definitely a problem. Unfortunately. What's bad about GTA 5 is it takes 5 or 6 hours and one mistake... About four or five hours in can make you lose the whole run. Yeah, I've seen a couple of like videos about really long runs, like hour plus long runs. I'm like, why do you want to do that? If you make one little mistake, like it takes so long. Like there's one Mario Kart course in Mario Kart 7 called Melody Motorway of Music Park, depending on American English or British English, I believe. Um, and I have a really good time trial time at it. Because I've done it a lot. But it takes less than two minutes. So if I mess up, I've lost barely any time. I think the intensity might still be fine. Which is why I'm currently waiting. And not immediately redesigning it. Even though we have excessive lateral Gs. Speedruns are like six hours long. And that's the time it's more like a it's marathon. I think I might need staff, yeah. Which scenario are you playing? Look at the title of the stream. It's Diamond Heights. There we go, they're all sweeping footpath. I'm not gonna hire as many as I did before. There we go, 288 and 13 hours. Should be good enough. Like, let's fix the vandalism as well.
Okay, do we have to st Oh, 10.01. I was so close in my prediction of it being fine. You know what? I think I can make it fine. If I just do that, it may be fine. Can you name a character your boss and drown them? But I'm my own boss. But sure. Oh, they're actually on the bob play. Well, not for much longer. It's almost done. But in a way, you know, to quote Jack's films, you are my boss. Because if you don't watch my videos anymore, I don't get paid. Um, and you'll move on to someone else. And you kind of dictate what videos I make, sort of. Because if you don't watch my videos, I need to try something else. Okay, I think this will be good enough. At least I'll, I'll, I'll start building queue lines and stuff. Too bad you get make such good videos. Can't stop watching. Well, thank you. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, I think we'll, we're fine here. That's the compact invert. We're still higher than that path. Okay, that's good. Have you considered playing Rim World? No. I know what it is. I watched Blind IRL play it for a bit. But I have not considered playing it at all. I was considering maybe to do like, I don't know, like a hardcore Minecraft speedrun. Uh, no, it's not speedrun. Hardcore Minecraft uh, series on stream or something like that. The problem with like doing a stream exclusive Minecraft thing is that it invo Minecraft involves a lot of grinding. And, you know, at some point you have to dig out something for two hours, which is a little bit boring to watch. And also, you know, a bit boring for me to commentate over. Okay, let's see if the stats are good now. 10.01. So close. What if we... Oh, I have a lot of twists in here. You know what? I can just put in a break here. I'm gonna be weak and put in a break. Can't stand Minecraft. Boring as hell. Why do you think Minecraft is boring? You can do a lot of different things in Minecraft. I know that some people will eventually find it boring. You know, it's a game not for everyone. But there are so many different playstyles. And I think that almost anyone can find something that's interesting to them. Like you have people that almost exclusively make note block covers of popular songs. Or, you know, do command block stuff. Or make pixel art or something like that. I get my kicks at over 200 kilometers an hour. Well, then you're currently in the wrong live stream because none of these coaches is going that fast. Scooby76112, thank you for the follow. Okay, now it should be. Well, it's not yet tested, but. Someone made an emulator to play Pokemon Red in Minecraft. Yeah, I saw NerdCube show that off. Well, quite a while ago, actually. Oh, we got 7,000 guests now. I, this graph is entirely useless because it only goes up to 5,000. Is your boss still alive? I'm pretty sure I drowned them. Right? Yes, I did. So, no. They're not alive. Alright, give me the wretched stats. I want the stats. 
Oh, there we go. Now it's only 8.06. Pretty good. Pretty good. I admittedly got into Minecraft after PewDiePie series a couple of years back. I ran from thinking of it as just a kid's game to putting thousands of hours in. Yeah, Minecraft is not just a kid's game. Just like Lego is not just from, for kids. Minecraft is about... Well, mostly it's about creating. It's about making... It's about literally building your own world. It's so interesting. And it's such a good concept. And obviously, it you know, it has kind of taken off. I mean, it's sort of the best-selling video game ever. So, it is done well. You can also fight mobs. I mean, there are entire servers that are just PvP. For those who don't know, that means player versus player. But you have all kinds of mini-games where you fight each other. And, you know, do objectives and stuff. I have a friend who wanted me to try some Bed Wars. We done it like a month or two ago. I wasn't great at it. Um... I'm pretty good at PvE, which is player versus environment in Minecraft, but I'm not good at PvP. And uh, he was quite rusty as well, because he hadn't done it for a long time. So we weren't very good. I got into Minecraft in 2011 because some friends from college wouldn't stop talking about industrial mods. I got into Minecraft also in 2011. Um, when my brother had it on his laptop, and I also, you know, made a world and played on it. Um, but, 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 very big but, I had already played Minecraft Classic on the internet before. I remember it being in, like, Classic was creative only mode, there was no survival yet. And you had, like, only a few different kind of blocks... And I remember building some entrance downwards. And I built like a maze of like one wide, two tall um, caverns. Or cavern and uh, like hallways. Um, and when you found the exit of the maze, you, you came above ground in some kind of building made out of like red wool. And that was the thing I built. Then I didn't touch it for I don't know, like a year or whatever. I don't know exactly when that was, but then in the summer of 2011, my brother got me into it. And then after that, I bought it myself, somewhere in 2011. Thank you for the 15 months, Buster. Please name a guest, Punk Wax and Drown Him. Alright. Why? I started playing Minecraft properly, like the 2011 thing in... Minecraft 1.7 beta. Because I know that pistons were added. But I... St and they were added in 1.7. But I also remember the survival update. Um, or the adventure update. Which is beta 1.8. Being you know, released. And suddenly having that. You know, an advanced survival system. So that's when I started playing. I got it for 15 bucks in... Uh, 2011. My brother got it for 10. He was slightly earlier than I was. But just... Think about it. In 2011, I paid 15 euros or dollars or whatever... For a little game called Minecraft. Which was still... Yeah, it was starting to become advanced. But still fairly basic. Now... More than 10 years later, I still get free updates with a lot of content. And the game has expanded a lot. It's crazy. How little I paid for it and how much value I've gotten out of it. And it's still only 30 bucks, and you I think. And you still get free updates for life. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, and then we'll go that way and 
up like that. Name a ride of your choice, alright? Huh, alright. Hehe, <laughs> I'm so funny. Alright, let's connect this somewhere here. Haha, <laughs> I said alright again. Name a ride, go ahead. Let me properly test this baby. A lot of sandbox games give free updates and I think it's solely due to Minecraft. Maybe not solely, but at least partly. You know, might be a big contributor. Name the compact inverted hat banger, alright. And color right of your choice, cringe bro. Can you show the rights that exist right now? Sure. All of these. Or all of these. I mean this is a better list. Yeah, Lego is way too expensive. In Minecraft you can have an infinite number of worlds, save files, and the worlds can be well, practically infinitely big for 30 bucks if you buy it now. Legos is for like one set, it's like 60 bucks, or well, I think it's even more expensive these days. Minecraft's like virtual Lego. You can't drop the worlds and watch them fall into pieces. You totally can, it's called TNT. Oh, which one do you want to rename, Cringe Bro? Or color, I mean. Make that Woody wouldn't support blue and orange tracks. Alright. I think you mean this one, because the other one's already been colored. Well, we have two Woodies. But I can make it like this and then blue and orange tracks now wait like that that's what you asked for all right let's connect up this path oh we're way too high up there we go that's connected now the other way around might look better let's give this shot Oh, that's good. I used to have a huge box of, box of random Lego pieces when I was little. I just enjoyed making my own things with them. Yeah, we did as well. Whenever we got like a new Lego set, we would build it. And then, it, you know, after we broke it down, we would often go into the big box. Except on my Ferrari Lego set. I had a lot of different Ferrari Lego sets. I'm not into race cars or cars at all, but... They looked really nice, and I all kept them as separate. And at some point, I had like eight different Ferrari sets that all fitted together and stuff. I remember that we had like there were stickers with the names of two different races: or Schumacher and I think Philip Massa. I think that was the name. Tomorrow is your first day from working for Lego. Oh, that's cool. Good luck. Entrance. Oh, I forgot the entrance this time. I'm good at forgetting a lot of stuff. How long will you, playing t will you be playing tonight? I don't know. I'm definitely past halfway of this stream. Because if I'm not, that would mean I would be going past midnight. <laughs> All right, let's build some flat rides. Park is getting slowly, it's getting more filled and filled and filled. Twist numero six. Already. You guys know that I'm really into speed skating statistics, right? 
And I have a lot of lists and stuff, but at the moment I update them all manually, which is quite a lot of work, especially on the long distances, because there's a lot of laps and split times and stuff. Um, but that's not really the problem. The problem is mostly that it's quite prone to me making mistakes. Um, so this summer I want to kind of work on some kind of program that when I, you know, that just does that all for me. I just have to add the competitions and the races and with the split times and stuff. And then it just does it all for me. Um, but that's a lot of work and I want to do that over the summer. But that's the thing that I want to make. And then I can also make it like have different lists. And all that kind of stuff that I currently not making. I just pull from the database. Have it do certain stuff. So that'll be a fun project for over the summer. And then eventually, ideally, I would make some kind of website for all this stuff. Maybe next, maybe next summer. We'll see. And it's actually not connected. There we go. They probably need to learn Python for that. Um, I've already learned Java and uh, I think that's good enough. Do you have any theme parks within walking distance of your place? No. But that's the chance for that's pretty small. Pick a cost type for me to build. Alright. Because, um, like, a walking distance is a f few kilometers. I do not have the air-powered vertical distance. Like, there aren't a lot of people that live... Vertical distance, vertical coasters. There aren't a lot of people that live within a few kilometers of a theme park. Biking distance is a bit more realistic. Um, but even that... Um, I'm not living in within the words. <laughs> I heard the theme park per square kilometer ratio and that is quite high. Yeah, but we still don't have one every few kilometers. So which coaster do you want? I don't even know what the closest theme park to me would be. Would it be maybe Splachare? In which is in southern Drenthe? Which is the fourth in the top row? This is a junior. Do you ever enjoy building aesthetically pleasing parks with tons of scenery and stations? I've done that every now and then. But most of the time I do uh, stuff like this. So you want a junior? There's a small one in Appelscha. Oh, I didn't know. I think I live from the Efteling. I live about... Uh, well, probably like a 15-hour bicycle ride. Alright, let's see. I can probably fit it here. Station there or something. Uh, can I go that way? Nope, too high for support. Too high for support again. 13 and a half hours. That was a pretty good estimate then. That I did. Oh, hang on, this is the same again. Now the stupid looping coaster is in the way. Too high for support, damn it. Now I remember... <laughs> this is annoying. Maybe this is why it took me another year to, re to do another one of these parks. Because I forgot the pain that it is to build these.
Like, every time something's in the way. Like, god damn it. It's really annoying. Oh, there we go. That's spooky music again. Yeah, it has a low support limit. So maybe building it on the mountainside isn't the best of ideas. Maybe I should, I don't know, go like here, which is also a mountainside, but, you know, whatever. Nope, station can't be long enough there. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna put the station on top of this. All right, see ya, Gregor. Let's go that way. And down, down, down we go. Let's see, can we do a turn here, a corner, a bend, if you will? We can. I'm getting remarkably tired considering I woke up at like half past nine today. <laughs> Maybe I just needed all that sleep. Remember when on Wednesday I did 150 push-ups in one day. It wasn't live or on stream, but um, yeah, I really felt that the days after. Still yesterday, I still felt it quite... Uh, Quite severely. This is... Not my favorite thing to do. Building these coasters in impossible places. Fortunately. You can just... You can uh, at least have chain lift on the turns, which makes that a little bit easier. This is a really weird design. Just turn on no clearance. Now that would be cheating. There are actually times when I um, hit the no clearance. Because if you have no clearance on, you have a little bit, you have like. A little red C next to the cheating menu. Um, I've hidden that in videos a few times. Where I had it on. Notice after recording and just pasted like an image of the non-no clearance. Actually, can I actually build here? Yes, I can. Over it to hide it. Um, which isn't like for cheat. It isn't you who hide cheating. I still use the zero clear, I just don't like this little C to be there in the videos. Um, I think we got down one more. Oh, that doesn't fit. Alright, well, shorten the station one then. Actually, it's not that. No, that's not necessary. Do you have any concerts planned in the near future? Yes, I do. Um, Nightwish, actually. Well, actually, I had I had Nightwish planned for um, more than a year in the past. <laughs> I planned it for November 2020. Then it got postponed to May 2021. Then it got postponed to November 2021. Then it got postponed to November 2022. But I'll probably go karaokeing, which is sort of a concert with friends when we can again, because we all like that and love fun. Will that concert feature Hank Port? I don't know, but I do hope so. Because I really like uh, Hank Port. I've actually already seen Hank Port live. 
Because Floor Janssen did some shows, some solo shows. And obviously I went to the one in Groningen. And Hank Port was there as well. They did Phantom, um, they did some other stuff. Is that connected? That is connected. Good. I'm going to a concert in two months and if it gets postponed I will cry. <laughs> I mean, my concert has been postponed three times now, so eventually you'll get used to it. Hank Port sings Nightwish stuff. Well, when they were on the Best Designers, which is Best Singers, translated to English, um, they did, Flor Janssen and Hank Port were both on there, and they did Phantom of the Opera together, because, you know, Nightwish has covered it. Although Flora has never sung it live with Nightwish. Um, and Hank Port used to be the Dutch Phantom of the Opera in the Dutch showing of it um, in theaters. So they did it together. And then they decided, well, this was a lot of fun. You know, that was very popular, probably the most popular performance out of the whole season, maybe ever on the Best of Zangers. So they decided to do it in shows as well, you know, if it, whenever they could. I'm very happy with that. You know, Hank Port's a great singer. He can do a Phantom very well. I mean, I still prefer Marco as the Phantom, but we're not going to hear that again. Especially because Nightwish will not perform the Phantom again. Because that was kind of a Taya thing. Although, maybe with Hank Port, they will do it again. I'm not sure. I'm not counting on it anyway. Oh, there's a PRD ship in the way. There are two PRD ships there, which makes it annoying. Am I, hang on, am I below the bobsled at the moment? I am. Do you think the sport of speed skating has gotten a larger following thanks to the personalities of Nils and the fact that Nils is getting some competition? It definitely helps that, for example, we didn't get any medals in um, both 500 meter events. Shows that, you know, the internationals can also uh, compete. It also helps indeed that we have characters like Nils who are not only amazing at, well, their sport, you know, Nils is Olympic champion, but also really outstanding characters. Okay, maybe I just need to put the entrance in a different position. Nils is just very outspoken and it's a very unique character. Oh yeah, I can't go that way because PRD ships. What if I go down? Okay, now I'm there on the... Oh, I'm actually connected to path somewhere. Well, that's good. I didn't realize. I think that Aaron Jackson being Olympic champion, just in a few days, then you know all Google Trends data will have been pro processed. Take a look at the Google Trends data for Aaron Jackson. I think you'll see a very big spike. I already looked at it today, and um, you could see a very big spike from the previous Olympics. But there she only placed 24th. Imagine what the current Olympics did to uh, how popular her name is in Google. And America is of course massively big on the Olympics. Like if you win the Olympics in America, you've basically made it.
And he also has a great story, you know, coming from a very poor background. Brittany Bow giving her spot to Aaron Jackson because Jackson had a slip in the qualifiers. It's just, just great. She really deserves it. She was the best overall during the season as well, so. Okay, we can go a little bit faster on this. The most famous Jackson, Jackson since Samuel L. Ah, oh, that's a good speed. I think Michael Jackson might have been more popular, but I don't know from where Samuel L. is. I mean, ultimately, speed skating is a small sport. Aaron Jackson isn't that famous. Especially outside of America. Let's call this red, the color of blood. I have a strange feeling that that's appropriate. Now, I don't know. I mean, I know Samuel L. Jackson's name. I've heard of it, but I don't know from... I don't know from when he is. I didn't know he was an actor. I didn't know he was an actor either. Is he? I thought he was a sports figure. An athlete. I don't know. I have no clue. By the way, this junior coaster is a hell of a weird coaster. But, um... Well, it's popular. And it has, you know, okay, that's for a junior. Did you know the L in Samuel L. Jackson isn't the first letter of his name, but a number? He's the 50th, 50th Samuel Jackson. That could be true, but you could also just making stuff up to see if I believe it. I don't know. I know that the J.K. Rowling, the K in J.K. Rowling, isn't actually... From her own name. I think it's like. It sounded better to have a K in there. To have an extra letter in there. So I think it's like her grandmother's name or something. Which is Kathleen. Something like that. Oh I see a connection I can make. In path. Nope never mind. Twist is in the way. Although I can. Still do it here. Almost. Just about doesn't fit. Ooh, actually. There we go. Isn't the K for cancelled? Let's not open that can of worms. Let's build one more right tonight. Let's build one more dodgems. Is this Diamond Heights? Yes. Let's build it there. Um, I think that'll be fine. The bloody tower looks like it gets real close to causing blood to spill. It's almost like that's why I colored it that way. Um, yeah, I think I'm kind of stuck here with the path, but I'm gonna see what I can do. Yeah, this is... How do I even get out of here? I'm gonna go like this way. Yeah, what did I do? Ask a geography question. Go ahead. Okay, now we can connect this. But I also wanted to connect this way. Okay, well that's obviously not going to happen. What's the capital of Diamond Heights? That makes no sense. So, none. Oh, what if we go this way now?
right in between the two queue lines. And we got another roller coaster in our way. We can still continue on though. We use a little bit of cutaway view. I somehow managed to get out of this mess. Oh, that was remarkably easy. Um, we are almost connected. Think that's connected. Yes. That's a hell of a path around it. In the meantime, let's fix this queue line. There we go. And there we go. That is our... Oh, I haven't saved today yet. Well, we had all the save. So that's fine. This is our current state. Oh, I just replaced the old one. Good thing I uploaded it so I can re-download it again to, do, to have comparisons. Um, let's actually call this V2. Um, I just wanted to do a comparison, but... Uh, actually, let me quickly... Uh, download it. Just so that I can give you a little comparison. From what we did today. Download. Let's go to save file. It's already yet yeah, replace. All right, this is now saved as. Let's see, yeah, a V two. And this is V one. Which is considerably emptier. You can see quite a difference. What's my favorite food? Spaghetti carbonara. Which I should really make again. I shall make that tomorrow. I mean, yeah, that's a, you can see a really big difference. It's just considerably more dense. Which is good to, to, to be able to see that we can... Uh, that we have made progress. Dense with height. Diamond dense. It's kind of fitting that diamond height. You know, diamonds are very dense. It's getting quite loud as well. Okay. Thank you all for watching this stream. Because uh, this is the end of the stream. Hence the comparison and, you know, stuff. Let's see if I can find someone interesting to raid. Oh, Bilky is online. I want to call Mickle Mackle. Didn't I raid him last time? I think that was a fun raid. Let's raid him. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much for watching. We're going to raid uh, this same guy, Mickle Mackle, who we raided, I think, yeah, I think four days ago, um, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And, uh, yeah, which is on Wednesday. And I hope you have a good start of the week. Bye-bye. Well, I still have a few seconds before I can actually do the raid. But, see ya.